I put my straw bales out in the winter so they have already begun the breakdown process and they've also been collecting the rain but I do amend them with my compost tea or as I like to call it poo poo juice. So what are we doing today Maureen? As you can see it is a beautiful day today. The temperatures are going to be a little higher today and maybe tomorrow and then we are going to be getting cloudier which is okay because I have two gigs at the jazz club this weekend and my son is going to be a guest performer so that's very exciting and I'll post the the link to Herman's website up here where you can can check that out Friday and Saturday so as of today most things are out of the greenhouse studio here what I have left are uh, the QQ melons and the basil because it's still too cool to have it outside these peppers can actually go out. I just um, don't really have a place for them. And then all my cucumbers here, which are looking fabulous. And then there's a few little things that are struggling and, and today I'll be moving some of these things out of their tray. But on uh, the weekend, I spent the time moving everything out to my outdoor <laughs> greenhouse. And boy, oh boy, are they all loving it out here. So we are plum full. So, some of the choys, they have just blossomed beautifully. I've got some squashes here, uh, squashes up here. I think that's gonna be some Swiss chard. I brought all my citruses out and the tomatoes, more squashes, more tomatoes, melons, and hopefully <laughs> my sad little peppers will start doing better, which I think they are doing a little bit better out here. And then just some flowers. So these are all my strawberry suckers from last year. And so I wanna get them all planted up because strawberries have a kind of a three year shelf life where you can get the mum, the grandmum, and the great grandma, and then they stop producing. And so I took those suckers from last year so that I can put them into my strawberry planter. I'm gonna take some of the composted soil that I have and mix it with some of my organic slow release fertilizer so that I can amend this bed and add some fresh soil. So lots of food. It's a sad day for the chickens. They're all right there wishing that they could come out. But we can't have any of that because they're eating all my stuff. It's actually a sad moment for the chickens and me because I do love to have them out. But once I get things established more, then I will be able to let them out. I am going to take out the dead and then I'm going to be adding in the new. I'm not going to touch this level here because the junco nest is there and the baby still could be coming back home tonight. One thing that I always have is I always leave a weed bucket. So then as I'm pulling everything out, or even when I'm weeding here, I just bring the bucket over and I'm collecting all the weeds and greens that are just not up to par. There could have been some strawberries that maybe they just haven't had enough time but especially on the top here I think uh, I don't think that you're alive anymore so we carry on oh yeah I'm leaving this one here because it is in front of the nest so I didn't want to take out that one from them because if the babies are coming in tonight then they need to still feel somewhat protected I'm just going to top with some of our soil. I don't have any idea of why strawberries die, unless it's just because, you know, it's so shallow and with the cold weather that we had, that the roots actually got killed off. I'm not sure. If that's something that you know, please comment down below and tell me why. Thanks. So last year, I took the suckers and potted them up into all these little four inch pots. So these are free strawberries. Yay!
ta-da! All the strawberries are in. This one was from last year and the two here, I think were suckers from it. So that's really great. I took some of the other dead leaves and left them in here just to make more of a protective base for them. And then I only plant the top row of this side. So this side all gets filled with basil. Uh, yeah, we eat that much basil. This will only be one section of basil. There is gonna be basil in many other places. So originally we built this and we called it a salad tower. And then I don't remember what my issue was with it. So then I just thought this is a good place to put the strawberry. So it's now the strawberry tower. I do still have more strawberries to plant, but I leave the empty pots here so that they'll dry out so that I can knock off the soil before I wash them so that it's not giving any chance for any unwanted bugs. Mm. Poured all the debris into my compost bin. So this is gonna add that nice layer of brown and even all the leftover soil of the plants that didn't survive. That's what makes some very healthy compost. So when I was at the compost, this bin, it didn't have as much uh, soil in it, but it had this little something. So I don't know what it is. And uh, actually, and then I noticed there was one here. I'm gonna place beds that it's sunflower seeds. Cause when I'm up here, there are times when I throw out treats for the girls and there is oil sunflower seeds. So I could have some rogue sunflower seeds. Yay. So we got the strawberries planted, which is great. But the next thing I wanna do is work on the straw bales. This will be my second year to do straw bale gardening. And I've learned a few things and I've added more straw bales. There is an official way to do straw bale gardening, but mama does things how she wants to do things. Sometimes it's a success and sometimes it's a mess. So one of the things that I do, because I live in a, a winter rainy climate, I put my straw bales out in the winter. So they have already begun the breakdown process and they've also been collecting the rain, but I do amend them with my compost tea. Whereas I like to call it, Poo-poo juice. First of all, I'm going to mend them with my organic slow release fertilizer. Here is my poo, -poo tea. Compost tea is just leftover greens and browns, soaking in water, pulling out all the nutrients, but it stinks. I like to just use these kind of containers and so we're going to amend our straw bales. Lastly, we're just gonna water over them. To push any of the nutrients down inside. You're all probably wondering, what are you planning to plant in those straw bales? Last year I had pumpkins, kabucha squash, uh, patty pans, scallopinis, and watermelons, and it did fantastic. And I will take you through that process of when it's time to plant them, because what I am gonna be doing is I dig a hole, I do put uh, a little bit of soil, and, I, and with my squashes, I put two cups of my slow-release organic fertilizer in there, and I had an absolutely prolific year last year with my squashes. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care. God bless. It's growing season.